Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back with this thing. This is our submarine. Today we're going to be adding an engine into the back of this thing. At least I think we are. And then we'll probably test that engine out to see what it does. Uh, obviously we can't just be a diesel powered submarine. It has to be a an electric diesel, a diesel electric submarine if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to need electric motors to actually propel us forwards, but a big diesel generator. So, let's go ahead and build one. Okay, so this back here is the room which the engine is gonna go into. Let's go ahead and delete all of this for now. This is just extra weight. Uh, again, we are actually gonna go ahead and change the color of the submarine so you guys can see to white. And then we need to start building the stuff. So, let's go ahead and go to motor to begin with. We're going to have two large electric motors, and I'm going to shove them onto each side just like this. There we go. We're then going to need to send these together through here. And I'm not going to do it that high. I'm actually going to do it a lot lower than that. So let's go to pipe really quickly. Uh, we will actually do it in white. So shove this down. We're then going to shove it backwards and down again, and then backwards again. And I'm actually going to try and put it along this height? I don't know, whatever height this is. Uh, which is a little bit lower, so let's send it back this way a little bit more. And that should be good. I'm actually going to go ahead and attach these guys together like this as well, which uh, might seem a little bit strange, but... Uh, I think we can make it look nicer than most things. <laughs> if we do it with actually um, uh, a pipe like this. So, we'll send it backwards to here. We'll obviously drop this one down again, just like so. And send it backwards again. Come on. Oh, actually. Needs to drop down from there. Yes, then backwards. Then we can attach that into there and there. Okay, we're all good. Alright, I've shoved a gearbox into there as well. That is going to be three to one, like we had it before. Uh, I am actually going to go ahead and paint the shaft a different color. Uh, we're going to go with this green. It seems a bit odd to go with the green, but at the same time, it is going to work out, I think. So instead of painting all of these, uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, no, let's leave most of that in. We're going to build around these guys. So I'm going to do this and this. We're going to do this and this. Yep. And we should be able to just like build around it so that it looks like it's all attached together nicely. Which I think is fair enough. All right, shove that onto there, very good. We're gonna do the same thing on the underside, obviously. We're gonna have to build this all the way backwards as well. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the top. All the way backwards to here, that's fine. And then we need to build around the sides. So, a few of you guys have been wanting a nuclear-powered submarine for a while, and honestly, I wouldn't mind building one, but I don't want to build it today. So, what we're going to build instead is... Uh, different. Let's, yeah, let's just call it different. Uh, we're going to build a six-cylinder on both sides. Do -do -do. Uh, generator. There you go. So, up there. One, two, and three. Shove these guys into the middle. One, two, and three. Oh, almost. Almost. And those are going to be our generators, I think. I don't know. It looks weird so far. It seems we have too much room, but it'll be fine. We got this. All right, I've moved the engines uh, inwards one because I'm actually going to have to attach them all together. So uh, from here, we're actually going to go down and from here, we are going to go up. And that is going to allow us to attach them both together. Both um, runs of cylinders, if that makes sense. So now we only have to apply air, exhaust, and coolant, as well as fuel, um, one time instead of two times per bank, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and just add all of that now and go from there. The engine is so far back and the air supply is supposed to be coming from here. That's insane. Alright, well, I guess it's time to run some uh, long lines. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get them there, to be totally honest with you. Uh, would it be weird if I was to put them up in the middle? I don't think that would be too strange. I think if I ran some lines straight down the middle of the submarine, straight through here and then up, 
it is going to be the best way to do it. So we're going to need an exhaust line going straight up. Here we go. Bosh. And we're going to need an airline doing the same thing. So going straight up. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and pipe it and hope for the best. All right, so this is going to go up here. We're going to have four lines going backwards. Oh, that's pretty crazy. That's really crazy. Uh, let's have one of them go sort of sideways. Angle, yes. We'll do this. And then this one's going to go this way. And then pipe. Do, 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 do. We're going to do this. And then we're going to send it this way. All right, cool. Yes. All right, that works. And that works too. So now I just need to figure out where it needs to come up at. And we'll build it up from there. Probably around here. And there we go. So we'll send it in there and up and that'll be fine. I am going to need to get it there first though. And that's going to be the issue. But yes, straight pipe right here. Excellent. We're then going to go back to this and we're going to send it. Okay, and it wants to go up there. We're then going to send this one a little bit further past. And that one wants to go in there. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the other room. We're going to use these connectors to send it sideways. And I'm actually going to use this one to send it upwards. Yes. Okay, shove this onto there and there. Go ahead and attach some actual pipes onto here and here. All right, awesome. Okay, so the pipes are going to come up through here, uh, which is the conning tower. Uh, kind of like this. There we go. I'm actually going to shove this one sort of sideways because uh, the place it needs to get to is actually at the front. So we'll do this and we'll do this. Okay, awesome. Attach those guys together. We can do it. There we go. I am doing this on both sides, and unfortunately, that means that this is going to have to move. Um, and we'll replace it with the same as what's on this side. Yeah. Okay, so I've actually got the same thing on both sides now, which is a little bit weird, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I am going to delete three of these, and I'm going to put catalytic converters on each of them. Uh, there's one, two, and three. Just because I think it looks nice. Or it looks nicer than what we would have had, which is just a stick. So one, two, and three. Bam, bam, and bam. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shove some starters onto these motors. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three, and four. Uh, that is fine. We're then going to need to add fuel to one of these as well. I say one of these, I mean the engine. Um, but it's actually both. So we're going to shove that down through the ground. And I might just have it fill up one of these areas down here. I think so. Uh, what else do we need to do from there? Hmm. Oh, coolant. Yeah, coolant is actually a really big thing here, isn't it? So yeah, I've actually stolen some of the area for one of our ballast tanks uh, underneath. And we're going to use it for fuel instead, which is not really that much room down here, but... Uh, hopefully this will work out fine. So now we have fuel, we have air, we have exhaust. We should realistically be able to start these engines and have them run. But we do need to cool them. We do. We also need some generators. Um, I don't know very well um, how many how many gens uh, each of these should be able to run. And in what sort of gear ratio? I'm really bad at this bit. Uh, so if anyone wants to let me know in the comments down below, then go ahead. Uh, because I feel like we might need we might need some help here. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and add a generator on and hope for the best. There we go. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'm actually just going to go ahead and shove a manifold on here. I'm going to go ahead and pipe it down into the water. And we are going to be taking seawater on board to cool the engines. Uh, yes, it's not really what you want to do. And uh, no, I don't care. Uh, well, I do. I do care, guys. I care. I, mm, do I? Do I, though? Do I, though? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go ahead and get some fluid pots. Uh, we'll actually shove those onto the bottom, of course. Here we go. One and two. We're going to pipe it up. Do, 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 do. There we go. Pipe this one up as well. Very nice. We'll send it... Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're going to send it this way. So I need some more pipes really quickly. So straight pipe in there, just like this. One and two. We're going to pipe this guy... This way and this way. This way and this way. Okay, excellent. 
and then up into there. All right, done. Bosh, bosh. Excellent. Um, oh, hang on though. I want, I want a pump. I need a pump on this somewhere. Uh, I thought we would have enough height right here to do it. We sort of do, but not really. All right, I'm gonna try it. So pump. The pump is actually gonna go like this. So we shove it there. We delete this guy and this guy. And we're just gonna have to use the pipes in the right way here. So shove that onto there. And that onto there, and we are good to go. Excellent. Oh, and we're gonna need some big old batteries in this thing as well, aren't we? So I'm gonna have a set of like six batteries back here. And then in the front, we're gonna have another few right here as well. Maybe another set of six. There we go. That does take up a hell of a lot of room, but we do kind of need them in order to actually move ourselves. So we're gonna keep them. Weirdly, we have actually almost pretty much perfectly balanced this thing with those uh, additions we've made. That's insane. It's all on the waterline, pretty much. That's crazy. Anyway, let's go to the inside. This is, of course, the engine room. These are the engines. Those are the generators. If I do this and this... Holy balls. Okay, the clutch is- the clutch needs to go in at the same time. Th uh, why is it so loud? Oh, wait, hang on, because these are set to 30. Let's go ahead and set these to something like 15. I don't want the RPS to be too high. I do I? I don't want them to, like, go crazy. So, let's do that. Let's attach this to here and here. And try again. Okay, we're back in. Let's do this and this. Uh... Is it going to eventually spin up? Or do I need two levers? Probably two levers. Alright, let's do it. Shove this guy into here like this. Alright. We're also going to actually increase this to 20. Alright, so 20 there. 20 here. Okay. Fine. Uh, I need to connect this guy to here and here. That's okay too. Connect this to the clutches. One and two. And let's go again. Okay, so the engine... is running on this side but the other side is not running I'm extremely confused okay it wasn't actually connected to the air or the exhaust on this side but that's okay so let's go ahead and add a light into this room and we'll be able to see what's going on from there I guess let's shove it right here there's one uh, we'll have another one, like, right here, and another one right about there. Okay, that's a few lights. I'm sure they'll be useful. Uh, right, connect that to there. We'll actually just connect all of these lights to this. And then we'll put an engine room light in the, um, in the bridge. Uh, or the conning tower. Although, actually, we're not going to be controlling this from the conning tower only, are we? Unless we do. I mean, we could. We could control this straight from the conning tower. I don't know. Okay, so we're in. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. It's a bit dark, but that's okay. Uh, we then go ahead and do this. And we do this. Both engines running. Alright, generator is generating 840. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's good. But they are both generating. So, I think I'm happy with that. I think so. Uh, if we look to the outside, is there any smoke? There is. I think that's fine then. And then if we go to the bridge... Duh, 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 boop. And we turn on the lights, the other lights. We should be able to drive. Yes. So obviously we have infinite electricity on right now. Uh, as soon as I go to change that, I think we'll be good. But um, this looks sick. This looks awesome. Alright, well anyway, uh, we got our engines in there, we got our generators in there, we got some little lights in there as well, uh, and we have propulsion again. So, I think we'll end this video here for now. In the next one, I want to add a little bit of extra detail to the outside of this. I just want it to look a little bit nicer, because uh, at the minute, I don't know, I'm struggling to, to see any detail on here that looks nice. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that next time. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.